individuals pay a substantially larger um, amount of the federal fund. This is the revenue that was collected during 2010. Mm -hmm. So you can see 33.7% of this total revenue pot came from you and I. And then actually more came from you and I if you imagine that we've also paid customs duties and fees, estate and gift taxes, excise tax and miscellaneous. 7.2% came from corporations. So a much smaller percentage come from corporations. And in fact, that has a couple of reasons. And let me just come down to this next chart. Since 1934, corporate versus individual federal income tax. Corporations used to pay a greater percentage than they do now. So there's actually a couple things that we're looking at at NPP. One is that there was a time where corporations averaged about 40% or above. Um, of their profits. They paid about 40% or above of their profits. So the average corporate tax rate was for a number of years at or above 40%, mm -hmm. right? So now on the books it's 35%. But because of loopholes, because of um, the give backs as we know exist in the budget. Subsidies? Yeah, subsidies, corporate subsidies. Mm -hmm. They actually pay much less than that. In fact, they average about 20% of their profits, with some corporations paying as little as 1%. And then there are other corporations that actually are paying less than 1%. I pay taxes. I did not cause the recession. We did not cause the recession. That's the difference between us and a corporation. Where's our bonus? Trickle down economics has failed us. It's time to invest in America. Time to invest in America.